Now, since the start of its rampage through Iraq, ISIS has been eyeing vital oil fields, including the country's biggest refinery. Joining me now in the studio to discuss this is Jorge Montepec, Global Director of Market Reporting for Platts, and Energy Market Intelligence Provider. Thank you so much uh, for being with us here in the studio, Jorge. Well, let's now take a look at those graphics right here, which clearly shows that the brand crude over the past few weeks uh, went up and the price is skyrocketing here. Let's take a look at trends. I mean, is it a panic buy sort of here, or is it an alarming trend? I think it's precaution. Mm -hmm. uh, based on the events that are taking place in Iraq, should you do nothing, sell, or buy? I think, obviously, what you should do is buy some, just in case production is lost. Certainly, right? the situation there is uh, highly volatile. But on the part of the investor, I mean, how reasonable is uh, such an act, such an act, reaction, rather? Well, I think it's, it's precaution. One should buy at this state is what people have done so far. From here onwards, I think people have done the precautionary buying. And if they see some production shut in, then prices could go up even further. But the situation is changing so quickly in Iraq. Right. Absolutely. Well, you mentioned the situation there. It's a uh, high volatility. Let's now take a look at uh, the map of the country. Let's see what happens there. We can see uh, that, uh, I mean, this uh, map shows Iraq's geopolitical sectarian divide with Sunni-dominated areas that are in red right here, uh, as well as the areas dominated by ISIS, uh, which are oil-rich places, of course. Now, the question here is, what impact could the conflict have on the situation in the region and, of course, uh, you know, the prices there? Well, I think Baghdad is their next target. And based on where the production is, where the pipelines are, even though the oil gets delivered through the south, there could be some impact in that production. We already saw an attack in, against the oil refinery, so the situation is fluid, and the most likely thing is that some production will be lost. We saw that situation in Libya as well. So I think it's reasonable for, as you call them, the investors, mm -hmm. to have reacted in the way they did. Because if production is lost, then prices will go up. Well, as everything is interconnected globally and uh, locally, I mean, how is the situation going to be uh, reflected on the Iraqi government and economics in the country? Well, it's really happening so quickly. Mm -hmm. But any government requires a, some form of income. And the main income in Iraq is money from oil. So if the production is interrupted, there will be issues there. Mm -hmm. and, and I think we're already seeing some of them happening. Likewise, if the sun is advanced very quickly and they become, let's say, a political force uh, on an established basis, they will also need money to run. So whether it's one side or the other, they both will be under pressure to export. So we, this situation may be short term in a way, but there will be, I think, some production loss. So we continue to keep an eye on uh, how the situation develops there in the region for now, though, Jorge. Thank you so much for joining us here on NC International. And with us here in the studio was Jorge Montepec, Global Director of Market Reporting for the Energy Market Analysis Platts.